Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swamp Swindlers. As our story opens, we find Clutch and company skimming along the Florida swamps. Whee! This sure is fun, Clutch. What a way to travel! Wow! Wow! The swamp buggy is the fastest and best way to travel these swamps, Spinner. Down here in Florida, they even have races with swamp buggies. That would be keen. We have to be careful, though. There's stumps and rocks and sandbars just below the water. If we hit one at high speed, we'd rip the bottom right out of our buggy. assignments better and the museum expects us to find at least one rare turtle egg where do we look turtles lay their eggs in the sand then cover them up the hot sun hatches them this is the turtle egg season and we might find some rare ones Just out of gas. That's why we carry extra gas below deck. We'll land on that sandbar. Hold on, you two. All ashore. May Paddlefoot and I do some exploring while we're here? Okay, but come when I call you. It won't take me long. And keep out of trouble. We won't go far. Come on, Paddlefoot. Oh, boy, Paddlefoot, I think you found a rare turtle egg. What is it? Look, a rare turtle egg. That's not a turtle egg. That's a gator egg. You, you mean an alligator egg? Right. And look out. Here's the gator that owns it. Look out for that tail. Stay back, Spinner. open so she can't bite. Okay, boys. Run! Look, Clutch! An old shack. Suppose somebody lives there? Hmm. Could be. Let's find out. Sure looks deserted. Golly! It looks spooky. <laughs> I'll just knock. You think we should, Clutch? Who could have fired that gun? Were Clutch and Spinner hit? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swamp Swindlers. You remember last time Clutch and company were skimming along the Florida swamps in search of rare turtle eggs. They stopped to fill their empty gas tank and discovered an old shack. On closer investigation... Clutch! Are you all right? I'm okay, Spinner. What's a, a girl? Right, mister. Lily Lou's the name. Best gull darn shot in the swamp. I thought you mightn't be cotton mountain that Mr. Greenback. Coming for to get our land. I'm Clutch Cargo, and this is Spinner and Paddlefoot. And I can assure you, we're not here to take your land. We're looking for rare turtle eggs. Well, I apologize for trying to blast you with this here handgun. But I'm alone. And this here's the only protection I've got. You live alone here in the swamp? No. My pappy lives here, too. But I ain't seen hide nor hair of him for two days. Where'd he go? He took the dugout canoe and started for the land office. Why is this Mr. Cottonmouth and Mr. Greenback trying to take your land? Don't rightly know. Guess the land's worth something. 
But the spring's gone bad. Started to turn black last week. Could I look at it? This sounds interesting. Sure. I'd go with you. Only I gotta keep an eye on the house. Meanwhile, as Clutch and Company start toward the spring, Ambrose J. Greenback and his henchman Cottonmouth lurk in the bushes a few yards away. This may be our chance to drive our land claim stakes in the ground. You tied Pappy Skeeter up real good? Sure, Ambrose. He won't bother us. Good work. Now, oops, look out. Here comes somebody. What the? I'll say you did. And did you get black? Black? No wonder. You fell into a pool of oil. Look, it's bubbling right up out of the spring. Gee, Willikin! Let's get back and tell Lily Boo what she has here. Curses. Now we're not the only ones who know about the oil on this land. Let's get back to Pappy Skeeter. We'll force him to sign this property over to us. Meanwhile, Clutch and Company inform Lily Lou of the valuable oil on their property. Then start in search of Pappy Skeeter. Keep your eyes open for our dugout canoe, Spinner. We'll go along this bank and then come back along the other. Make sure the buggy is hidden, Cottonmouth. I'll check Pappy. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to force you to sign over your property. You ain't going to have no luck, my friend. I can't ride. Ambrose, quick. Here comes that fella and kid we saw. Listen. Pappy! Pappy Skeeter! We'll cook there, Goose. They're looking for Pappy. They'll come past this side of the swamp on the way back. You mean... Right. Climb the tree and light the dynamite fuse. When those meddlers go by, drop the dynamite in their boat and... Oh. No sign of Mr. Pappy's dug out in this side of the swamp. We'll turn around and head back on the other side. Here they come. Ready, cut them out. Ready, Ambrose. Whales in a swimming pool. Will Clutch and Company be blown to bits? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swamp Swindlers. You remember last time, Clutch and Company met Lily Lou, Pappy's daughter, who told them about Ambrose and Cottonmouth trying to stake a claim on Pappy's oil land. Pappy had disappeared too. While in search of him, here they come. Ready, Cottonmouth? Ready, Ambrose. <laughs> That pooch. Clutch! Stop the swamp buggy! Cattle foot's overboard! Time to get going. Run, Ambrose! Well, I'll be. Look. Paddlefoot's got something in his mouth. It's dynamite. Paddlefoot jumped overboard to put out the fuse. Clutch! An alligator! Oh, hurry, Paddlefoot! Boy. That was close. Good old Paddlefoot. He saved our lives. Where do you suppose the dynamite came from, Clutch? Looks like someone's trying to get us. My guess is it was dropped from one of those trees. <laughs> We've drifted ashore. Let's investigate. You go ahead, Clutch. I'll follow. I don't see anyone in the trees. They probably ran. Oh, but, but, but one? Look! Yeah, I see what you mean. That must be Pappy Skeeter, Lily's father. 
take it easy, old fellow. We'll have you loose in a jiffy. There. So this is why you didn't return home. You guessed it. Them two vermits caught me and tied me up. Thought they could make me sign my land over to them. But I fooled them. Your daughter mentioned Mr. Greenback and Cottonmouth. That's who it was, Ambrose J. Greenback. And he's no good helper at Cottonmouth. Know where they are now? Went that away running. Probably headed for your house. We'd better give your daughter a hand. Bless her little heart. I had to leave her all alone. She's okay, Mr. Pappy, as long as she's got that gun. Our swamp buggy's right over here. Curses. Those two meddlers are muddling things up. Yeah, if it's anything I hate, it's a couple of muddling meddlers. We'll have to work fast. We'll head them off with a gasoline fire. I hear their engine. Wow, what a shock when they round that bend. And so, Pappy, all that oil on your land makes it very valuable. Greenback will stop at nothing to get it. Well, they ain't a gonna get it. That land was given to me. Did you file a legal claim on it? Chuck, no. I've been putting it off for 20 years. My claim stakes are in the ground, but somebody pulled them out. Never got around to putting them back in. We'll drive your stakes back in, then hightail it for the claim office. What? Look ahead! Fire! It's right across our path, too. I can't stop, and I can't turn. Can Clutch and Company avoid being burned? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Pavelfoot in another exciting adventure, Swamp Swindlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company escaped being blown to bits by Paddlefoot's quick thinking. Later, as they headed back for Pappy's shack... Clutch! Fire! And I can't stop, and I can't turn. Hold on. We're going through. Is everybody okay? Yep. Okay. We never saw a fire on water before. How do you suppose it started? That was no accident, Spinner. Greenback was trying to stop us. Meanwhile, Ambrose J. Greenback and Cottonmouth have landed on the sandbar near Pappy Steeter's cabin. Now's our chance. If that fire hasn't burned them, it'll sure slow them down. Right, Ambrose. Shall we sneak up and drive in our claim stake? That's the idea. Only watch out for that maiden with a gun. She's a sure shot. Shucks, do I have to hold the stake again? Be quiet. I'm being quiet. Get it. She's trying to blow my brains out. I heard a gun blast. Lily Lou must be shooting at them crooks again. We'll soon know. Just a couple of minutes from your place. Curses, she did it again. Let's get out of here. We gotta have a sneakier plan. I've got a swell sneaky plan. We'll use those alligator suits I made. Yeah, let's go back to our shack and get them. There's my little darling now. Just a waiting. They found you, Pappy. Oh, joy. I see you're still okay, Lily Lou. Yep, had a visit from them two a while ago. But I got rid of them. What about those rare turtle eggs we came to find, Clutch? I'm sure we'll find them, Spinner. Right now, this is more important. Pappy Skeeter's got to file that claim. Get your bonnet, girl. We're going to town. Me? Going to town? You have to come in and set a spell till I get pruned up. We'll sneak up to Pappy Skeeter's, stake our claim, then head for the land office. We'll hide our buggy in here. Remember, act like a real gator. Let me hear you growl. Not bad. Now get going and crawl on your stomach like a real gator. Hurry up, girl. Them crooks is liable to come back and get their stake in our ground. Spinner and Paddlefoot are keeping a lookout. Look, Paddlefoot. 
Here are three alligators coming ashore. Three alligators? Oh, one of them must be for real. Cotton, have you got the hammer? Hit the stake with a hammer, you idiot. Did you say something, Ambrose? Huh? What? Isn't that you, Cottonmouth? I'm over here. Then who's... Oh, no! <laughs> Isn't that funny, Pamphlet? Oh! He's gone, Ambrose. <laughs> what did you say the alligators were doing? They're running on their hind legs now. Those alligators are phony. I'll bet it's Greenback and Cottonmouth. Come on. Now into town to file our claim. It was them, all right. Here's the claim stake. Listen, isn't that a motor? That's a swamp buggy, all right. The one that belongs to Greenback. We've got to beat them to the claim office. Come on. Will Ambrose and Cottonmouth succeed in reaching the claims office first? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Fudge Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Swamp Swindlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company rushed back to Pappy Shack to help Lily Lou, who had already had a visit from Ambrose and Cottonmouth. Now they must get Pappy to the claims office first. As they start out, Spinner hears a motor. That's a swamp buggy, all right. Tell by the sound. Ha-ha! <laughs> now we've got it made. Not yet, Ambrose. Here they come. Full speed, Ambrose. Boy, look at us go! Skeeter, there's two alligators in there trying to file a claim on your land. We'll see about that. Oh, boy, this I want to see. Look, Clutch is dragging them out. What are you going to do with them, Clutch? I know just the place for them. That'll hold them. That's where we keep all stray gators. But kind, sir. We were only fooling. Please, sir, let us out. It's just our way of having a little fun, sir. Sir? 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 The land's all mine, Clutch. Thanks to you and Spinner and Paddlefoot and Lily Lou. Say, where is Lily Lou? Right here. I got me a store-bought dress, hat, and a new shotgun. Well, you deserve them, Lily Lou. Clutch, look what Paddlefoot's got. Why, it's a rare turtle egg. Where'd you get that boy? Well, I always pick up a few of them eggs when I come to town. Pappy loves them for breakfast. Well, I'll be... <laughs> you see, Spinner, you never lose anything by helping somebody. And sometimes you even gain. And so ends the story of Clutch 
Cargo, and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot, and Swamp Swindlers. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.